yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief! The gods demand repentance! Cough up your coin! All of it! Like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. of you to drop in finally it's all a bit ad hoc but i'm sure you'll find something and welcome to patches emporium where you won't need a refund because everything's top notch yeah i had those bandits make a clean break now they're all suppliers. No good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying. But it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord. Only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... Nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. Cheers for that! Well, well, well. I should have known, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance! Vengeance!
alive! Oh, you had me proper scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours, hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Oh, don't miss all the bargains here at Patch's Emporium. <laughs> the untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Hatches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs>
Fancy meeting you here. Hold on. Don't you say a word, my friend. I spoke no lie, not a one. You are trapped inside a volcano, no mistake. But the Erd Tree was right outside. You just had to spring yourself out. Well, I'm willing to admit, I could have been more clear. But I did not lie, and you're perfectly unscathed. All's well that ends well, right? Strange place for a chance encounter, huh? <laughs> well, I thought I could use a rest. Don't mind me. Go about your business. R right, over there. See that? Something shimmering. I swear. Then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Game. Oh, so sorry for that. I, I meant to warn you, but whoops, <laughs> there you went. Despite my best intentions, I've done you wrong. I have. But here you are, standing tall and proud. All's well that ends well, eh? And my warning was spot on. You tell me different. Stay clear of Volcano Manor. End of discussion. I heard the brutes there hunt tarnished like animals. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts? About the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor? And fight with us? Rise with us? Against the Erd Tree? Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you.
joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Hatch's Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> to Patch's Emporium. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart. Patches Emporium. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Now 
you've gone and killed Rikard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Crimes, you make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a Tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am. Untethered, once again. Goodbye, my friend. Bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Oh, it's it's nothing, it's just makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then? Then I can rest easy, my friend. Is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, you... Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is vast, and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please, find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together.
just help yourself to a man's personal belongings? You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Mm. Wait! Don't tell me! Is that you? Oh, Christ! Please, wait! I surrender! I surrender! I swear! since I've seen you. I didn't even realize it was you. Took you for a demi-human or some such. Hey, you know how it is. Just an innocent mistake. Water under the bridge, eh? Back to business as usual. Is Emporium. Cheers for that. What's wrong with you? It's me, Patches. Patches. Enough. Now. Forgot something on your shopping list? No trouble to me. What do I have to beg? Give us a coin or two next time around, will you? Fine. Have it your way. You'll be...